Hello, and welcome to my channel. What I have here is six eating utensils. The only problem is this one here got broke, but it was broken when I, when I picked it up. But let me explain. This one here is a very good representation of some kind of spatula. It really looks, it's got like a beveled edge right here. It's got a little a place to put your finger. My finger fits right on that. And what else would this be used for? Eating. Got a little cup area here. I'm just gonna call this an Indian spatula. Native American Indian spatula. That's, that's, that's what it looks like to me. It's, it looks like a spoon that you would eat with. I mean, it's nice. That's what it looks like. And that's a really nice one there. And then let's, let's get on to this one here. This also looks like it was used to eat with. It's got a little chip in the back. But again, a place for your finger. It's got a little bowl there. So when they eat the food, it would stay on the spoon. That looks like an Indian utensil to me. Who's going to tell me any different? I know an expert out there that probably knows everything about the Indians. Also, here's another one. This one kind of looks kind of weird. It's bigger, it's thicker. It's got some sort of a spatula cut right on the side right there. Could have used it to scoop from that side. But again, a finger hold. Little cup here to hold the food in place when they pick it up to eat it. I mean, it's been in the desert for a while, so it's kind of got some desert staining on it. But again, another eating utensil. And then you come to this one. It's a little bit thicker. Could have been used on both sides. And it's also the shape of an animal. Could have been used on this side. And because this one has this, the kind of a little pocket and could have been used on this side too. But as an eating utensil, I mean, they weren't, you couldn't go and just find a perfect stone. Like this one here is almost perfect. You just can't, you have to make it. And they were probably in the process of making this one. But again, maybe a spoon. And here we got another one. This one here is a little different, more flat, but it has a place to scoop up so they can eat. I mean, I could be wrong on some of these here that they may be something else, but I mean, it could be a little tomahawk, but it's a real, really, really breakable brittle. So why would they use it as a killing tool? I mean, it can kill, but also there's some kind of animal here. There's an ear, got an eye cut out, and then a nose and a mouth. But, you know, most everything that was used by the Native American Indians were animals. There's animals on them. At least the ones that I, I find, there's an animal on this side. It's got a mouth, it's got a nose, it's got your eye cut out in your ear. So they're everywhere. Now this one here, this one here probably wasn't just a regular size Indian would use this, a regular Native American Indian. I do believe this was probably used by the giants because here's where they would have put their finger. Let's say this piece is still on there. Double rolled teeth on those cannibals. They still had to eat other food. They didn't just eat human meat. They ate other foods. You know, there, there must have been another end on it because there's there's a, it's been broken it more, but I didn't see that in the area where I was at. I only found this piece next to it. But this looks like it was, to me, a giant Indian eating tool. I mean, but a normal person could have used it. A normal-sized Native American Indian could have used it too. But also, this appears to me to be another eating utensil. Although we didn't, we call them utensils. I don't know if a rock would be considered a utensil. But there you have it. I'm sure I have more in my collection. I just didn't spot them yet. This was my most recent find. I found this out in the desert a couple weeks ago. Didn't find it in my yard. Found it in the desert. Found it near to where I found another uh, giant rock, giant Indian rock artifact. It was in the same area of the desert. But. I mean, they're very intriguing. Intriguing. I mean, look, that's a nice little spatula type. I mean, why would this not be used as a spoon? 
I mean, what else, what else use would that be? I mean, I don't see any other use. Same with this one here. It's so brittle. You couldn't use that as a killing tool. It's too brittle. I mean, that's, you can tell. It's, I mean, I can just see the type of rock it is. It's so brittle it break, but it'd make a great spoon. This is so thin. It'd make a great spoon, too. Scraping up, putting in the mouth. These are a little bit more odd, but it seems how smooth they are, and that's the shape of a fish. Maybe they used to eat fish. Also, what, are, what other use would this be for? I mean, you could use it as a tomahawk, but it's not very strong. It would break real easy. So, what do I see? I see a, a utensil there for eating with. You don't have to believe me. Who out there is going to prove any different? I mean, they've... they've they hide most of the information about Indian, you know, Native American Indian stuff. If it's anything cool and they haven't figured it, they haven't found it, they'll lie about it and say, oh, that's a geofact. Well, these aren't geofacts. These were touched by man. Like and subscribe.